Hi, this is Jubal. Um, we're on the train here on our way to Machu Picchu. And uh, it's a beautiful morning. It's about 7.30. We are um, traveling in the Vista Dome. Huge mountains on both sides of the train, the tracks here. We're riding alongside the Urabamba River, heading into the Sacred Valley. And um, so we'll be showing you some sights along the way. Um, you may have noticed um, the maize growing on the sides there. Well, um, the season here, we're, since we're in the southern hemisphere, um, it's the opposite of over there in the, uh, North America. And so um, the harvest time here is in March and uh, April is when the corn is being harvested. Peru is known for their very um, large size of their corn. Um, the various different varieties that grow here are um, uh, quite larger than the... And what I mean by larger, I mean it's by the size of the grains of the corn. And uh, so um, later on, I guess maybe we'll be showing you that. But I just want to let you know that that um, part about the reverse seasons here. So. The terraced gardens that you just saw right there, um, th that's the way they could do all of the planting in this um, valley. Um, along the sides of the mountains. So they, they pick the ideal spots where they're going to receive the most sunlight during the day. And um, when they build it, first they build um, sort of like, you know how there there's an incline like this of the ground. And so then they build a, a wall of rocks like this. And then they backfill in the dirt to make it each of those levels. They call each of those an Andes. And um, so therefore there's a lot of soil there. And the soil is brought in from other parts where there's, you know, good soil. So it took a long time to build those. And in many cases, uh, we're talking about decades of time to construct these Andes. And um, then um, each level uh, that goes up the sides of the mountain has um, a... Um, they have different temperatures. Um, they can vary as much as uh, with each uh, two or three Andes can vary in temperature between uh, one degree centigrade or one and a half degree centigrade. And so therefore, um, well, I'm gonna stop for a second and show you this. Up. Hacienda House um, that I was showing you there. They build an adobe, which adobe, you know, is uh, mud, mud bricks, and then they uh, cover 
they take clay and they make the roofs out of the clay tiles very similar to the Spanish uh, style. Um, anyway, I was saying about the terraced gardens, they, uh, they're all over the place here, they're all along the sides of the mountains here, and um, the temperature differences allowed them to grow different products, uh, different agricultural products. The, um, the main ones were the potatoes and, of course, the corn. Um, they also had tomatoes and squash, and um, the temperature differences allowed them to create hybrids and to allow for the, um, um, the well, for example, like the potatoes and the tomatoes and uh, the squash were, um, oh, and also the yucca, the yucca. All of those uh, plants um, were had poisons or alkaloids that were very harmful to human beings, and so um, the hybridization that they did over the centuries allow, allowed for a reduction in the number of the alkaloids, so that they could become more tolerable for consumption for, the, for human beings, and and also led to a large uh, variety of. Um, you know, different kinds of potatoes and different kinds of tomatoes and so forth. So it's a quite interesting story. That looks good. That's Samsung? That's what I should get. I love this Samsung. This thing has been quite amazing. That looks better than what I'm getting. You can zoom with it and you can take snapshots while it's doing video as well. Works on. There you go. Dragging a wheel. Oh, you are dragging a wheel. It's rolling down. Rick is a ghost in there. Oh yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's a good smile. Oh, look at that. You can say it's Inca ghosts. <laughs> River's wide and flat and slow so. Oh, you can see the moss. It's like a rainforest almost. It's almost tropical. Yeah, we're back in the Spanish mosses. We're just uh, coming into an area now where the vegetation is starting to change quite a bit. We're getting into a more tropical kind of uh, uh, setting here as we move down. We're, we're descending from about uh, 3,300 meters where Cusco is to about 2,000 meters above sea level where Machu Picchu is. So it would be uh, interesting to notice the difference in the vegetation. So that phone right there is a high credit phone. Right. Don't even
They're mining, yes. <coughs> Ten more minutes before we get there. Ten more minutes before we get there. The um, oh, Sandra, Machu Picchu um, uh, hydroelectric power plant that uses the power and the force of the river below to create the energy for to power Cusco. Well, we're now about <clears throat> five minutes away, I guess, from uh, Machu Picchu station, and uh, the train is slowly making its way through the valley, and uh, we've have complete change of vegetation here now. Punto final de nuestro viaje y el inicio de su esperado recorrido por la ciudadela sagrada de los Incas. Esperamos que su experiencia sea realmente inolvidable. Recuerden usar el bloqueador solar, repelente y tener a la mano su cámara fotográfica. Los servicios higiénicos se encuentran a la entrada de la ciudadela. No pierda su ticket de ingreso, lo necesitará para entrar y salir del recinto. Pronto estaremos descendiendo del coche y lo haremos por la puerta del lado izquierdo en el sentido del tren. Les solicitamos permanecer en sus asientos mientras nuestro personal baja primero el equipaje. Por favor, no olvide llevar todas sus pertenencias. Les recordamos que la fecha y hora de su retorno están indicadas en su boleto y deberán estar en la estación por lo menos 30 minutos antes de la partida del servicio. En nombre de Perú Rey y la tripulación a bordo, agradecemos una vez más su preferencia. Esperamos que su visita a Machu Picchu sea mágica e inolvidable. Destination of our journey and the beginning of your long awaited tour around the sacred city of the Incas. We hope you will have a really memorable experience. Remember to use sunblock, repellent, and keep your photographic camera at hand. Restrooms are located at the entry of the Citadel. Keep your entry ticket in a safe <laughs> place. Else. You will need it to get in and out of the place. We will soon be offboarding the train, and we will be using the door on the left side of the train. We kindly request that you remain seated while our staff removes the luggage. Please do not forget to take all your personal belongings. We want to remind you that your ticket indicates the date and time of your return trip and you should be at the station at least 30 minutes prior to the departure. <laughs> on behalf of the railway and the crew on board, we wish to thank you once again. ride up to the top. I don't know how long it's going to take exactly, but we'll see. So we finally made it up here to the top of the mountain and um, I uh, left 10 soles on the bus because I had it in my pocket and when I pulled out this um, uh, Samsung Galaxy 3 that I'm shooting on, uh, it stuck to my uh, cover and I fell out on the bus. Ten soles is about four dollars. Um, anyway, um, back behind me is um, the mountain they call Machu Picchu Mountain, but um, Machu Picchu, we're just at the very entrance right here right now. And down below there is the uh, uh, Urubamba River that we were looking at before. And um, so now I'm going to show you just a little bit of here about the entrance. part that I just showed you ahead there at the big peak, that's called Huayna Picchu. That's also the nose of the face of Machu Picchu. Uh, the whole Machu Picchu is like a big face. 
there uh, in the background behind the city um, or the Inca city. So we'll be taking a look at that shortly. So we just uh, walked up this uh, incredibly steep trail to get to the top here to get a bird's eye view of Machu Picchu. So here we go. Catch that, um, but there is actually a face there. If you look carefully, you'll see a chin, a mouth, a nose. There's another spot uh, a little bit higher, which I'll climb to and try to get another shot from up there before we walk down into the city ruins. Uh, and I'll show you that. You get a better glimpse of how the face takes shape. All the agriculture. And, that's, and, that's, the and then there's a wall, like a walled city. Exactly. It follows a, a plan. Uh, it'll, the layout is very well organized. So this is the entrance to the residential area where the right. door is. And there's a wall that separates all the homes and residential areas. And the residential is still divided in two groups. Mm -hmm. This is the upper on the west section mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the lower on the east section. And between both, big open spaces, like public areas, like mm -hmm. classes where people used to gather, yes. The big one is the greener. Yeah, that's the, a big, big one. the big yeah. one. Yes, that's a big The population must have been yeah. 700 people. That's what scholars think. But there were many buildings which remained empty most of the time, and they were used only when they
Exactly where he goes where that head is going to be sitting there. You know, the Incas used to talk with their mammals. They used to communicate only the wisest people because they were afraid of the same mistake from them. And that's why uh, the use of the public uh, is the reason for the use of the name of the other people, the other people, the other people,
Oh, you're hanging George? George is out of the way? No, they're not waiting for Be careful here, okay? <laughs> This is the end of the journey, heading to the train right now, through this uh, local art artisan market. And uh, it's been a really fun time, had a great time. Did a lot of walking. I think I probably walked about 10 miles today. And uh, saw a lot of amazing places. And uh, please be sure and check out my uh, Facebook page where you'll see, I think I took over 2,000 photographs this uh, last two days of the Sacred Valley and climbing up the Machu Picchu. So, um, hope you all enjoy that. Look, to, look forward to reading your comments. And uh, signing off. Take care. Bye.